My name is Craig Merlick. I'm an associate professor of chemistry at UCLA. So I've been a professor here at UCLA for 27 years, and I've always had a long-standing interest in safety, besides being the chair of the safety committee for the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. I'm also the chair of the campus-wide chemical and physical safety committee, and I also serve on the safety oversight committee for the campus as a whole. A lab coat plays a very important role in laboratory safety. The principal action the lab coat provides is a barrier between the researcher and chemicals, but they don't provide protection against uh, liquid materials. In particular, there's not a great level of splash protection, and also the current lab coats wick chemicals, and that's a hazard to the researchers. To provide splash protection, uh, students can put on a chemical resistant apron over the lab coats. The challenge though is that it's awkward having two layers of personal protective equipment on and the second issue is that the aprons don't provide full coverage of the body for protection. This new coat um, is the latest generation and I have seen experiments and have participated in experiments with this coat and it is truly remarkable. The material does not wick chemicals, chemicals instead just roll off it. In terms of chemical resistance, the new lab coat is also remarkable because it also is very resistant for corrosive chemicals. So the new coat would provide an amazing level of protection for researchers who might have very corrosive materials spilled on them. So I look at this new material as being absolutely transformative and a real game changer in terms of laboratory safety. 